Welcome to Cisco Training Videos. My name is Trevor. The topic for this video is inspection engines on the Cisco ASA firewall. Let's begin. Alright, we did it guys. And this is where it gets really cool on the ASA. So inspection engine is the seventh and last phase of the packet inspection process that occurs as packets traverse firewall interfaces. Depending on the protocol that is being used, the firewall is going to inspect each connection and apply specific rules to that traffic. If the traffic doesn't follow the expected protocol rules, and it appears to be operating inappropriately, the firewall has the ability to drop certain packets. This inspection process on packets coming into the firewall has traditionally been called a fix-up, but recently it's more commonly referred to as application layer protocol inspection or inspection engines. There are two different types of protocols that the Cisco ASA will inspect, connectionless or connection-oriented protocols. Connectionless protocols have a very simple guideline in regards to how the data is sent from the source and the destination host. UDP and ICMP are examples of connectionless protocols. ICMP is connectionless because it permits one host to send another message to another host without needing or expecting a reply. UDP is a connectionless protocol since not only does it allow a host to send a message to another host without expecting a reply, but it cannot even guarantee that that message will even get to that other host. Here's an example of the difference between a UDP header and a TCP header. A UDP header has only the source and destination port, a length field, and a checksum. Since there are no features in the UDP header that can guarantee delivery, UDP is said to be unreliable. I'll be going way more in depth into UDP and ICMP packet inspection in upcoming videos. As you can tell, connection-oriented protocols are completely opposite than UDP protocols. TCP is an example of a connection-oriented protocol. They have very strict packet inspection rules about the handshakes and the packet exchange between hosts. TCP is considered to be reliable since it uses features as you can see such as sequence numbers, acknowledgement numbers, and windowing. Since these extra features are built into the TCP protocol header, the ASA can utilize that information and it can make packet inspection decisions based on that received traffic. So an example of the Cisco ASA firewall making a packet inspection decision based on the TCP header parameters would be if the firewall received a packet coming into the device that had a TCP sequence number that was an, an unexpected value. If the ASA firewall received a packet with that unexpected value, it could simply drop that packet. This prevents congestion on your network and it allows legitimate traffic to better utilize your internal network bandwidth. Another cool feature that inspection engines allow the Cisco ASA to do is the firewall having the ability to control the number of embryonic connections that establish on a specific host or multiple hosts on your internal network. The firewall can perform TCP intercept and what this does is it intercepts incoming SYN packets as they come in to the network and the firewall will then pretend to be the targeted host and it'll send out a SYNAC back to that source host. If the connection turns out to be an embryonic connection, the firewall will simply drop that connection, all without having to bother the backend server. If it ends up being legitimate traffic, and through a handshake successfully establishes when the firewall does the TCP intercept, the original SYN packet in that through a handshake will be forwarded to the backend destination server, and the ASA will complete the through a handshake with the true source server. Here's an example of what I was just talking about. When the firewall performs TCP intercept, this happens when you have a host on the internet and he sends a SYN packet to a host on the back inside of your firewall. And this is host A. So he sends the SYN, the firewall does TCP intercept and the firewall will actually send a SYN ACK back to the host A. If the connection stays at this point right here, this would be called an embryonic connection, and it would eventually time out and be removed from the connection table. If it ends up being legitimate traffic, host A is going to send an ACK back to the SYN ACK that the firewall sent. It's going to create a three-way handshake. To host A's perspective though, it's created a three-way handshake with the actual true host B. So what the ASA firewall does is he'll send a copy of the original SYN to host B, and the firewall will allow the three-way handshake to form. I will be making multiple videos involving TCP intercept as well as focusing more on TCP inspection here in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. 
For now, though, I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below.